looking for my wins. I need my ends. This life is real. If they pretend, came off the bench. I get it in. Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Joshua Winkins and if you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every single day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy those types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. As you can see right here, I want this video, I want to go over how to create this inverted ghosting effect. Now, you may have not even in, noticed it in the intro, but this is what it's called, the inverted ghosting effect. And here is the timeline or the editing breakdown to the actual effect. It's a very quick and simple and little easy effect, but it can definitely look really cool and you can kind of take, use your own creativity and use it in different situations. I just want to show you how to um, create this effect and it's all up to your imagination to how you want to use um, this effect. In the end of the video, I want to go over how to create these certain markers and how to color code clips, but that'll be at the end because that's not part of the actual effect. I'm just trying to mess with different ways to organize footage. So you can see right here, let's just take this clip as an example. So you want to uh, basically click on the clip and go to the beginning of the clip. You can cut the clip, do whatever you want, but you want to go to the beginning of the clip because it's all about keyframing. So as you can see right here, here is the beginning of the clip. So we want to go to the beginning of the clip and then you want to keyframe the position. So position, keyframe. So you want to boom, hit, uh, key, uh, you want to keyframe the position. Then you want to go one, two, three, four, five frames or six, seven, whatever. I would encourage you to maybe go four or five frames, but it depends on how long your actual clip is. So you, you could do it here, four or five uh, frames and then have it end. But for example, what I did in this one is I basically tried to go in the middle of every single clip. So let's say, for example, it was like 20 frames. I went on like the 10th frame. So I tried to go in the middle. That way it slowly, gradually uh, created this effect. So at the beginning of the clip, go to position, keyframe position, go to the middle of the clip, five frames, however long you want into the clip, click on it, and you want to click on the position. So for example, I put 30. Let's say I want for some reason, I want 116. So let's go ahead and just click on here. As you can see right here, boom. There we go. That's how you create um, this effect. But obviously I don't want 116, so I'll just type on 30. Then you go to the end of the clip and you go back and you key from the position to zero. So let's go on the clip. Um, position keyframe and watch the y axis so as you can see right here boom and then it will go back over it's a little bit different because it's, it'll repeat the clips but that's literally all you're doing is you're just clicking on the clip keyframing the actual position going to the middle of the clip or however long you want actually into the clip click on it mark it and then key from the position bring the key bring the position up to 30 20 100 however big you want it but definitely don't just increase it like 200 make sure it looks kind of good i tried to increase it to like 60 or 70 it looked horrific on this clip so i just wanted to increase it to 30 sometimes you may just want it a little bit subtle or maybe you want it to be really really obvious that you create this really cool inverted ghosting effect then you go to the end of the clip go here and then key from the position or go make the position go back to zero so the position is at zero keyframed 30 so it increases a little bit and then boom there we go the position is at zero and that's the actual keyframe part of it now that's the last part now i want to go through how to actually um create it so let's say for example let's just use this as an example so I'll go ahead and just cut this up. And now I want to basically go from the beginning. So let's just click on this clip and this is just going to be an example. So let's say here is the clip. Um, here's the clip that you want to use. So as you can see right here, nothing happens. It's just a clip of, of Lamar Jackson and that's it. So what you want to do is you want to press on the clip, hold down option, and you want to boom, create a copy of that actual clip. So you want to hold on option, and create a copy go to the beginning of the clip and you want to head to the blending mode blending mode goes to lighten change the blending mode to lighten um, go to the beginning of the position keyframe the position let's say this is the middle mark it and then keyframe the position to 30 then go back to the end and keyframe the position to zero so let's go ahead and wait for it to render. As you can see right here, you have created this really cool inverted 
um, ghosting effect right there. Literally how you create this really cool effect and you can kind of use it to your own imagination. So the most important thing is you want to create a copy of the actual clip, put it on top, change the blending mode to lighten right here. It has to be unlightened or else the effect is not going to work. And then you're literally just keyframing the position. And that's how you create this very simple, easy little effect. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you want to see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I also have Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 80 different Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. And remember, I upload new Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you in the next one. Peace.